Hi my friends, today we model this part. It is not so complicated, but it has some interesting features. This is the drawing. We'll start with creating this uh, bottom part with a diameter of 184, thickness 16 and a fillet of radius 2 millimeters. This part is number 52 from my collection of 100 mechanical parts. New empty document. Take a look of this uh, workbench and select CAD not bender because we create uh, mechanical parts new sketch xy plane circle diameter of 184 close then pad or extrude of 16 okay this uh, edge must be filleted with two millimeters okay next is this cut 75 radius 9 three instances this face for a new sketch then polyline starting from somewhere here to the left mmm three times then another line to here this uh, is horizontal and this is vertical we project external circle and we apply tangent of this line with this circle we also place this point on the same horizontal with the center point then radius of 9 and distance of 75 close pocket through all the part now we have to place one of this uh, construction you see here that uh, if we make one we can multiply them in six uh, instances we select this pocket then we apply polar pattern you see this axis is by default and we have two cuts no we want to have three okay we start by creating this uh, uh, feature and uh, on 80 from the button or 80 minus 16 from the button then we add this cylinder then the hole then the other hole and then the rib dimensions are 10 and 80 minus 16 for uh, creating that feature to here the position is at 58 
we select this face for a new sketch then we draw a rectangle one dimension is 40 dimension in the drawing enter and uh, the thickness is 10 dimension in the drawing we apply symmetry of this point and this point about this axis the distance is 58 we have a fully constrained sketch close pad 80 minus 16 okay we select this face for a new sketch we project this line and we draw a circle with this center and this diameter close now we make something special the other direction and the distance to be very large 60 for instance to be outside this contour we turn the part to select this face then we apply hole diameter of 30 in the drawing and dimension is through the part okay next is the rib we select this plane we project this line and this line then polyline starting from this bottom line to this vertical line go back to this point and go back to the start then dimensions this is 40 and this is 25 close extrude or pad symmetric to plane and 8 millimeters the thickness then we place here a hole a threaded hole dimension is here metric 8 18 only up not going more than this we select this plane we apply datum plane we apply the distance of uh, 80 minus 16 plus 40 divided by 2 dimensions in the drawing and now we see here the tangency yes good we use this plane for a new sketch that sketch is a circle placed on this axis no matter what is the diameter then we hide the datum plane to project this line and to place a dimension of 11 
as you can see close hole isometric regular profile metric 8 depth of 40 divided by 2 and we select threaded and we apply model thread to see here that uh, profile okay you see here that profile going only up not down good to obtain this uh, multiplied uh, sub-assembly we have to use a certain order we start from here we open all the internal uh, features and we select this one then I keep pressed control key on the keypad and I select firstly this then this this and this now we apply polar pattern and we see all one two three is the hole four five uh, components not two occurrences but six occurrences and we see all the components okay we wait for a while because of this model profiles threaded profiles now we have to obtain this uh, cylindrical faces with diameter of 160 we create a new sketch yz plane then we project this upper line and this line then we draw a rectangle from this point to this line the distance between uh, this vertical and uh, the center point is 130 divided by 2 having this sketch we apply groove and we <laughs> obtain what we want you see here that uh, this is curved it has a cylindrical face very nice very interesting that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye